Hey everyone, welcome to Daily News Analysis. Today is 29th of March and let's look at some of the important news of today. Starting with the legal news, Supreme Court sees that there will not be any demolition of shelters for urban homeless without Supreme Court's permission. It's written sans nod. Sans means without, nod means permission. So there will not be any demolition. Supreme Court stayed any further demolition of shelters for the urban homeless in Delhi without its permission. A bench led by Justice S. Ravitra Bhatt issued the direction to the Delhi Urban Shelters Improvements Board that runs the shelters for the urban homeless in Delhi. The court further directed the board not to demolish three temporary shelters at Gita Ghat, which is run by an organization led by activist Harsh Mandir. These are special shelters for people with tuberculosis, orthopedic conditions, and mental disabilities. In another news, court has asked uh, the member of parliament, the uh, Lakshadweep member of parliament, Fazal, that what basic rights was violated? Why are you approach, approaching the court under section 32? So the Supreme Court has queried what fundamental right of Lakshadweep MP, PP Muhammad Fazal was violated for him to move an Article 32 petition in the Supreme Court. Mr. Faisal uh, has moved the top court, stating that though his conviction in a case of attempt to murder was suspended, his Lok Sabha membership had not been restored. The question was addressed to Mr. Faisal's lawyer by a bench of justices. The lawyer said it concerned his client's right to represent his constituency in parliament. So court said, is that a fundamental right? Why can't you move the High Court under Article 226? So why the, please understand here, you can approach the Supreme Court under Article 32 only when there is a violation of your fundamental right. In this case, there was a member of parliament who was uh, the attempt to murder case was suspended, but his membership to uh, Lok Sabha was not restored. So he could not represent the people. So that is why he approached the court. But it is not a violation of his fundamental right. Please understand. He could have used, he could have approached the high court. But he directly approached the supreme court. So the court is asking what fundamental right is suspended. That is the issue here. So the first batch of Agni Veer has, uh, has uh, we, we, have, we already had this. Has uh, graduated, is ready to serve. Now, Navy will make you a better person, Admiral Dills, the first batch of Agnivis. So, they have passed out in the first passing out parade of Agnivis. 2,585 men and women graduated from the portals of Indian naval ship uh, Chilka, situated at Khurda under the aegis of Southern Naval Command. The parade was the first search to take place after sunset. Also, for the first time, the Navy gave the General Bipin Rawat rolling trophy for a woman Agni Veer trainee standing first in overall order of merit. More than 5,000 apps blocked on the advice of Cyber Crime Center, says the Home Minister. So, Union Home Minister Amit Shah has said that more than 500 internet based applications have been blocked on the recommendation of the Indian Cyber Crime Coordination Center. Reviewing the functioning of the Indian uh, Cybercrime Coordination Center along with Union Home uh, Secretary Ajay Kumar Bhalla, Amit Shah said that the center has prepared an analytical report on the modus operandi of the top 50 cyber attacks in the country. Now this is a bad news uh, that from 1st of April, the prices of some essential medicines are set to see a hike. The prices will uh, increase. So, pain killers, anti defection, uh, anti infection drugs, cardiac drugs, antibiotics, they will get more costly, they will get dearer. There will be a surge bound on by a sharp rise in wholesale price index. Pharma body side sand will change of 12.12% in wholesale price index in 2022. So, the prices of 384 essential drugs and over 1000 formulations are said to see a hype of over 11% due to a sharp rise in the wholesale price index.
this is an interesting article in the hindu today it says that what does muslim personal law say on inheritance now why this article because a muslim couple from kerala uh, there was this advocate shukur and his wife sheena who is now was the former uh, pro vice chancellor of mahatma gandhi university they decided to get their marriage registered under a special marriage act and this move came 30 years after having solemnized their nikah according to islamic principle mr shukur uh, shukur claimed uh, uh, they have got married registered under the special marriage act so that the principles of the secular act could apply to matters of inheritance in his family and enable his daughters he does not have any son he has daughters enable his daughters to inherit the couple's property under the indian succession act 1925 the couple has three daughters and no sons now because of this decision the, that the kerala couple decided to register their marriage under the special marriage act 30 years after having solemnized their nikah this has put into a discussion a very important topic the discussion is put in the spotlight on the islamic principles of inheritance the quran through Sur- uh, surah nisa outlines the principles of inheritance for both direct and indirect heirs it says that for men there is a share in what their parents and close relatives leave and for women there is a share in what their parents and close relatives leave whether it is a little or much i mean share is there but for son it's more for daughter it's less let's understand how according to unanimously agreed rules on the division of property in islam a daughter gets half the share of the son so if a son inherits a plot of say 100 meters from father the daughter gets a plot of 50 meters or half the value of 100 meter on marriage according to islam it is the man who is supposed to bear the family expenses including residence food clothing medicine besides maintenance of his wife education of his children and looking after his parents if the husband predeceases his wife she gets one eighth share of his property if the couple has children otherwise she gets one fourth there is also a share for paternal uncles aunts etc as long as they are dead relatives same for grandparents if they are alive now each parent gets one sixth if the son passes away before them and leaves children behind now the problem as in the case of this uh, kerala couple when a couple has only a daughter or daughters the daughters can inherit only two third of father's property as the quran says if you leave only two or more females their share is two thirds of the estate beyond that the shares are for the mother and for paternal blood relatives so if you want your property to remain within the family do not want to give it to the paternal blood relatives then you have to that is why they chose this way of to register their marriage under special marriage act so within islamic law options are available to such a couple in case they want the property to remain within the family the first option is to make a will or a seal under which a person can declare that upon his death a particular heir shall inherit not more than one third of the property this is often done in case of the children is not financially sound or has a special needs or has served his or her parents more than other children for instance if two children stay abroad and one children stays back with parents to look after them in old age such a provision may be used many muslim families use this provision during the partition when many families were divided while well, some children uh, crossed over to pakistan others remained here with their parents so this uh, situation arose in that situation beside wasiya there is also the concept of virasat under virasat or inheritance there is an option of hiba now what is hiba hiba allows unrestricted transfer of wealth or property to a person during the lifetime of the donor unlimited not only one third unlimited so in the case of the kerala couple hiba provisions could have been used to transfer all the property in the name of the daughters during the lifetime of the parents this is like a gift deed importantly while the islamic division of property clauses for uh, relatives comes into force once a person dies a gift deed can be made during one's lifetime the jury is out whether the kerala couple's uh, actions were against the tenets of islam 
or arose from parents' anxiety to secure the future of their children. Uh, Bhutan Prime Minister says that the boundary demarcation with China will happen soon. Now, who is Bhutan Prime Minister? Lote Shering. So, Bhutan hopes to complete the demarcation of territories with China in one or two meetings. It is said by Bhutan's Prime Minister Lote Shering, indicating a resolution of boundary issues with Beijing could be expected soon. The Scottish House confirms Yusuf as First Minister. Yesterday I told you that uh, in Scotland it is the first, youngest uh, First Minister. So it got Scotland's Prime Minister confirmed Hamza Yusuf as the new First Minister the day after the narrowly won the contest to succeed Nicola Sturgeon as a Scottish National Party leader. He is 37 years of age. Bad news coming from Mexico. There has been a fire at the Mexico-US border. Uh, the, the migrant center, it kills 39 people. The National Migrant uh, Institute facility had at least 70 inmates. Local authorities had recently rounded up street vendors, including foreigners from the area, and detained them in the center, and 39 people got killed. India is under fire at World Trade Organization for avoiding questions on minimum support price. So India has come under fire at the WTO for avoiding questions raised by members on its MSP program for food grains, particularly rice, where subsidies have breached prescribed limits. Some countries have alleged that India did not give sufficient replies to their concerns. So members such as US, Australia, Canada, European Union, Thailand, they said at a WTO, uh, WTO Agriculture Committee uh, that India must reply to the questions asked to its public stock holding programs at the committee. India, however, stuck to its guns and insisted that it is provided the best possible information and clarification at the consultation held with interested members based on available information. So India is saying that we have given all the satisfactory information. However, the members of the World Trade Organization, these members, they are not convinced. Alibaba of China will split into six units and explore IPOs. So Alibaba Group Holding Limited is planning to split its business into six main uh, un, uh, units covering e-commerce, media and the cloud uh, that was said by the company. And Walt Disney Company will begin 7,000 layoffs to streamline business. That's all for right now. Thank you so much. See you in the next session with more set of news. Till then, have a good day. Goodbye.